Hi, welcome to ACCQ, Continuing Professional Education. Right now, this is the second part of the three-part three series of the income taxes for the mixed income earner. Previously, we have discussed about the mixed in income earner opting for the 8% income tax. Now, this time, he opted to use the itemized deduction. Incidentally, if you want to review the first one or if you have not seen it, there's a link below so you can watch it later on the 8% tax. So let's go to the itemized deduction. Now, oh, look at this. There's already a partial solution. Incidentally, that partial solution was the same as the previous one because in this part on the compensation income, this has not changed whether it's the eight per, whether the taxpayer opted the eight percent or the itemized deduction still the same with the compensation income so taking from there so we have the taxable income of one million four hundred ten thousand okay this is obtained by deducting the ninety thousand thirteenth month from the one point five million compensation income so looking at this table it is in this region or in this range between 800,000 but not over 2 million so the tax is 100 yes 130,000 now the excess the excess in excess okay in excess of the 1.4 million, 1 million 410,000 and 800,000, which is 610,000. Okay, so this would be 600,000, 610,000. Okay, times 30%. Okay, so that would be 183,000. So you get the the total of this one that would be the tax three hundred thirteen thousand. Again, how did you obtain that? This is the first. This is the same as the first video or the first this, the first uh, lesson on income tax for mixed income earner. So you get again you get the excess. How do you get the, the excess? The taxable income, which is one million four hundred ten thousand, less the eight hundred thousand, the minimum range of Kunsansha Nan Kunsa and Yung Kanyang region. No? So it's between eight hundred thousand and two million. Tapos yung excess no, which is six hundred ten thousand, imu multiply mo dun sa thirty percent. Okay, so this one is three hundred thirteen thousand. Okay, so now we go to the gross sales. Gross sales, no? Dito naman sa business. In gross sales, this would be 2.4 million. Okay, so now, since we are using itemized deduction, meaning, ito yung mga, no? Ito yung mga actual na cost and expenses ng company. No? Kung masipag ka mag, kung masinop ka mag, uh, magtatago ng mga resibo at mga vouchers na yan, no? pwede mong gawing deduction yan para pag chinek ng BIR uy, yun, okay yun tama tsaka baka mas maka, makababa ka pa ng, ano, ng tax dyan na babayaran so, going there so less, this would be less cost of sales the cost of sales is 1 million yan okay, so you get the gross profit gross profit or gross income gross income this is for 1,400,000 now after getting the gross income ililess mo pa dito yung periodic expense meaning to say ito yung mga operating expenses tulad ng ilaw, renta, kuryente iba pa ito sa cost of sales so, ililess mo dun since itemized nga ito. So, less this one, operating expenses. 
Ayan. Mas lalo tayong makatipid sa pagbabayad natin ng tax. So, kailangan i-consider natin lahat ng itemized deduction. So, less 700,000. So, you will get 700,000. Did you see? Nakikita ba? Iganun natin ang konda. Ayan. Okay. So, this is 700,000. Now, this 700,000, this would be your operating income. Now, meron pa tayong isa pa. Yung tinatawag na non-operating income. Ia-add pa natin yun. So, add NOI or non-operating income which is 100,000. So, 100,000, alam naman natin kung magkano yun, 100 plus 700 is 700. 800,000. Yan. So, 800,000. 800,000, ito na yung tinatawag natin taxable income. This one is the taxable income. Now, when you say taxable income, this is your basis for tax. So, pupunta ka dito, nasaan ba yung 800,000? Ayun, 800,000. Kitang-kita ka agad. So, magkano yung tax niya? It's 130,000. Now, since wala nang excess yun, kasi 800,000, the taxable income less, the minimum wage of 800,000 is zero. So, kung alin mo makukuha mo dun, which is 130, that is already your tax for the business. So, 130 plus 313, this would be how much? This would be around 0,0,0,3. 443,000. So, that's it. So, this is the second option of the itemized of the mixed income earner. So, mamimili ka ngayon kung ano yung mas medyo mas mababa doon para yun yung babayaran mong tax. No? This is not, this is a legal way of uh, minimizing your taxes. No? So, yung una, if you still remember, that's 513,000 yung total eto 443 so medyo mas mababa to so this seems to be more advantageous anyway see you on the third session for our mixed income tax earner and don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions comment below god bless